The 1980 eruption influenced small mammals in at least two ways. First, there was direct mortality. Because the, the volcanic eruption itself involved physical forces such as heat and burial and scour, many small mammals simply perished at that time. Others were more fortuitous in that they live in a place and are active during certain times that spared them from the direct blunt, but still then they had to cope with the second point, and that's a grossly modified environment. Being alive on the morning of May 19, 1980, one day after the eruption, was no guarantee you're going to persist. You may have just been lucky and survived and been spared uh, uh, the eruptive forces. We began our work with gophers at more distant locations from the volcano and then worked our way inward to see how close the actual crater the gophers had survived. So we were finding the gopher in each of the zones getting closer and then we said well, what the heck let's go look even in Spirit Lake Basin and did not expect the gopher to have survived there simply because of the forces that that area was subjected to. So hot and so much blast force and deposits were deep. So we turned in the chopper into the basin and started swirling along the contours and sure enough even in the Spirit Lake Basin we had looked down and there before our eyes was this beautiful mound of dark soil upon this vast, vast matrix of gray ash. But there wasn't much food around, and so the big question that came to mind, well, the gophers survived, sure, but were they going to be able to persist? Was there enough below ground food for them to carry on until the vegetation began growing again? 